Majesty, you're most welcome. Haile Selassie, also known as Tofari Makonen, was the emperor of Ethiopia from 1930 to 1974. He aimed to modernize his nation and led it to the center of post-World War II. He was born on July 23rd of 1892, not far from Harare, Ethiopia, and he died on August 27th, 1975 in Addis Ababa. He established Ethiopia's membership in the League of Nations and the United Nations and made Addis Ababa the OAU's principal hub. Tafari was the son of Prince Ras Makonen, the top advisor to Emperor Menelik II, and was a great grandson of Saleh Selassie of Shewa. Tafari was educated at home by French missionaries, and at a young age, he made a favorable impression on the emperor with his intellectual prowess and was given a promotion as a result. He pursued progressive policies when serving as the governor of Sidamu, a later Harare province. He aimed to weaken the local nobility's feudal hold on power by strengthening the central administration, for instance, by creating a civil service with salaries. As a result, he came to stand for politically liberal segments of society. In 1911, he married Waizaru Menen, a great-granddaughter of Menelik II. After Menelik II passed away in 1913, his grandson Lejiasu ascended to the throne, but the majority of Ethiopians, who were Christians, found him to be unreliable and closely associated with Islam. Tafari became the center of the Christian uprising, and in 1916 he toppled Lejiasu. As a result, Menelik II's daughter Zayuduti was crowned empress in 1917, and Ras Tafari was appointed regent and heir apparent. Rastafari, a progressive figure who became the focal point of the goals of the younger modernist age, contrasted with Zauditu's conservative viewpoint. He achieved a notable victory in 1923 when Ethiopia was admitted to the League of Nations. The next year, he made the first ever trip outside of Ethiopia, traveling to Jerusalem, Rome, Paris, and London. He adopted the title of Negus, king, in 1928 and two years after Zauditu's death on November 2nd, 1930, he was crowned emperor and given the name Haile Selassie, meaning Mighty of the Trinity. From the late 1920s on, Haile Selassie effectively served as the emperor of the Ethiopian government. He worked to both aid his people and expand the power of the central government by building provincial schools, bolstering the police, and gradually burning feudal taxation. Haile Selassie was in charge of the resistance when Italy invaded Ethiopia in 1935, but he was driven into exile in May 1936. On June 30, 1936, he made a remarkable statement to the League of Nations in Geneva, in which he pleaded for assistance. In order to create an army of exiled Ethiopians in the Sudan as World War II broke out, he obtained British support. Invading Ethiopia in January 1941, British and Ethiopian forces later retook Addis Ababa. He approved a new constitution in 1955 that gave him the same authority as the prior one. A vote opposition to his leadership first appeared in December 1960, when a dissident army wing took over Addis Ababa and was only driven out following a bloody confrontation with the loyalist forces. In 1963, Haile Selassie played an important role in the formation of the Organization of African Unity. He ruled Ethiopia until 1974, when farming, rising unemployment, and the political gridlock of his administration led to mutinies in the army. There he overthrew Haile Selassie and installed the Marxist Lenin Dag as a temporary military administration. In his own palace, where he spent the rest of his life, Haile Selassie was confined under house arrest. Official sources at the time say that he had died of natural causes, but later, evidence showed that the military government had ordered him to be strangled. Some adherents of the Rastafari movement, which originated in Jamaica during the 1930s, under the influence of Leonard Howell, a supporter of Marcus Garvey's African Redemption movement, worship Haile Selassie today as God incarnate. 
The name Rastafari is derived from Haile Selassie's pre-imperial name Ras, which means head, and sounds like the title Duke. He is revered as the Messiah who liberated the African and African diaspora populations. Conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah, King of Kings of Ethiopia, Lord of Lords, and the Chosen of God are his formal titles. According to tradition, he is descended from Solomon and Sheba. Haile Selassie is regarded as the black man messiah by the Rastafarian community. Haile Selassie throughout his career showed that he was a master at playing his game. As a result, his record includes both some impressive achievements and some profound failures. On the 5th of November 2000, as Selassie was laid to rest, it's important to draw lessons from the life he lived about the importance of holding leaders and the institution that govern our lives accountable for their actions and decisions. <laughs> <laughs> 